Hi, comic fam. Welcome to KJ's PPC Hot Shots. Uh, again, that's Porch Puppy Comics. For those of you who don't know, welcome. This is episode 119. Showing you some books. More than more importantly, reading you some scriptures from the word of God. Uh, we did chapter three on uh, yesterday. Uh, chapter three, verses 16 through 21 uh, of John. Today, we're going to be doing John chapter one, verses one through five. And I want you to take it in and understand the scriptures. But again, I thank the Lord for my 96 subscribers. I thank the Lord for all of you that even come through and casually look. And uh, just, you know, thank the Lord. I'm praying for you all and want the best for you all. So again, like, share, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what's popping. You know, I thank the Lord for Brother Church. I thank the Lord for Brother Luke. I thank the Lord for for uh, Broke Cause of Comics. I thank the Lord for Brother Night Tiger. I thank the Lord for Brother Rob. I thank the Lord for Brother RB, Brother Skimmy, Brother Mike, Brother Chris Green. I thank the Lord for my brother T. Ravis. I thank the Lord for all of you that tune in, all of you that subscribe and look at it. My nephew, Dre, thank the Lord for him. Ah, uh, he's a great nephew. He's he's my oldest nephew. And I thank the Lord for him. He's a great young man, great young man, very talented. Love him dearly. Ah, uh, we've got a blessed family and I thank the Lord for it. I, my friends, am the happy, happy, I guess you would say, uh, husband. I uh, love my companion. I love her, love her dearly. I have two children. Uh, and I thank the Lord for them that blessed us with 10 grandchildren and one great grand. And so I, uh, thank the Lord for my church family as Marable Temple, City of Refuge, Church of God in Christ. If you go on Facebook, you can pull up the superintendent. Now, right, got a pencil, write this down. Superintendent. Ira G. Hathaway, that is my pastor. Those are our church services. We, we live stream every Sunday. If we're inside or outside, because like I said, we do a lot of outdoor reaching out and, and, and you know, just, just getting in touch with the people. And our pastor is a great man of God. He loves God. He loves God's people as well as the saints of the Most High God. I thank the Lord. It's a beautiful time, and we yet love the Lord today. We are a loving church. We are a no-nonsense church. We believe in the Bible and what the Bible stands for. There is no compromising, nothing hidden, nothing suppressed, and we thank the Lord. That Again, that is Superintendent Ira G. Hathaway on Facebook, and all you have to do is just pull it up, and it'll be his... Uh, his Facebook and with our services. And we get thank the Lord for you. Hopefully I'll be putting something else out about it. Cause I want you all to see, we just not, just not just running our lips, just flapping our gums. We telling you the truth and living it more than anything else. That's the thing. You got to live it. You can sound good, look good, but if you don't live it before God and man, as the scripture says, you just spinning your wheels. All right. I'm already four minutes. Let's run. Showcase presents Power Girl. Remember I told y'all about that? I think in the last video or video before last, that Power Girl, I was looking for these three particular issues. This is where she came out in. Staten Art, uh, and that's Staten, if y'all know him, he's from the uh, Charlton fame of E-Man. I think he done some uh, Space 1999s, uh, some Bonic Man, a few Bonic Womans, but mostly where I've known from is E-Man. But anyway, he did the art in this particular book. And I was looking for these three particular issues and uh, ended up, like I said, got them from Brother Rob. It took me a while over the time that I was looking for him. But all I had to tell Brother Rob was I was looking for this particular book. And whenever he ran across it, he held it back for me. And I thank the Lord for him. So this is issue number 97 
of uh, Showcase Presents. This other book over here is Wonder Woman 300. And uh, I like the 100s, 200s, 300s, so on and so forth. Uh, I like Wonder Woman as a character. This here is a square bound book. And y'all know, even though we're on this particular format now, I'm still going to take time to show you the spine. Ma, ma, ma. And it's a wraparound cover. I don't usually do this too often. Because I'm trying not to hold you. But, let me see if I can do this without tearing up anything or messing up the book. Because I'm telling you, the book hasn't really been opened up because it's even cracking as I open it up right now. But look at that wraparound cover. Can you see it good? That is so nice. It is so, so nice. And that's what I said beforehand. I, I'm taking T. Rabbits and saying, but I'm, I'm just saying, you know, collect what you like, collect, have fun with it, you know, because uh, it's fun. Next two books. Y'all might have seen this one, but I'm showing them again. Showcase number 98. Showcase number 99. I have all three of them now. Now, of course, 98 is a little faded. And it's got some cover rubs here and there. But, comic fam, I've got the book. So I'm not worried about it. I'm enjoying it. And I like those. I like those particular issues. I like that run. Uh, coming at you, finna hit you with a Batman 227. Ooh -wee. Look at that cover. Now, I know some of you might have that in, a, in, in, in tuned or in better shape than what I've got this one, but I like this cover. And I said, I, look, yes, it, it could use this, it could use that, but I like it just like it is. Here's another one. Let me show you. This is Detective Comics 500. Oh, here we go. Mm-hmm. March 1991. Now, I don't rightfully know, come fam, if this is a wraparound cover. Ah, but it is. Check it out. I ain't gonna open it up since y'all done seen the front. Because we see some rub right up in here now. Still, that's real nice. That's Detective Comics 500. I don't have a very extensive Batman collection like I used to have, but uh, just a few odd ends. All right, we have another Batman. I'm just going to go ahead and put him up there. Right? That'll even things out a little bit. The Breaking of the Bat, first printing. Uh, Batman 497. Uh, everybody was after this book. It was a great book to have, great book to pick up. And uh, one of them that you just, you know, you just want to get your hands on. If you don't have one in your collection, I I'm, I suggest that you get you one. Uh, you can't go wrong with that particular book. You cannot go wrong. Let me see if I can get my camera adjusted here. He wants to act a little wonky today. Okay, let's try that there, comic fam. Uh, let's move on. Oh, yeah, let's move on. We got, I want you to look at this. Marvel Tales, number five. I want you to look at that book. Now, I'm going to tell you, I ain't going to show you all of them, but I'm going to tell you that these books are square bound. Mm-hmm. Nice books. You know, and I said, these are nice because, you know, you may never get these particular books. I mean, you know, what do they got they showing there? Uh, that's uh, issue number, let me get my glasses on because I want to make sure I'm telling you right. Let me see. That is issue number eight of Amazing Spider-Man. Issue number 40 of Tales to Astonish. Ah, that strange tales. I can't really get the number on it, nor that journey into mystery. 
but uh, these are real nice. I just like the condition in the big boots. I liked them back in the day because I figured that was about the closest I was going to get to a book, you know, having something that age. Here is number eight. And it's got some wear, some rubbing and things on the cover. The spine has got a little nick on it at the very bottom, but it's still a nice looking spine. And that's number eight. This is number 18 and number 19, respectfully. Square bound again. These are nice covers telling some old stories. I think as they went on, I think it finally uh, integrated to where it was just Spider-Man and they'd done away with the other characters. Because as you can tell with this one, Doctor Strange is not in this one. It's just Spider-Man, uh, Torch, and Thor is what they're talking about in these. And these are really, really nice books. Really nice to have. Our scripture reading today will be coming from John, the first chapter of John. Starting at the first verse, I hope you get your Bibles. Read along with me. Or uh, go write them down and then go back and read them. Chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word, if you didn't know, he's talking about is Jesus Christ. The same was in the beginning with God. Did you catch that? He was in the beginning. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. If we don't have Jesus Christ in our lives, if we're not living to the, as we used to say, and we still say it then now, living to live again, you know, because this is not our home. If we're living for Christ, look, this is not our home. He said he has a home prepared for us. And so he says, and in him was life, and the life was the light of men. Fifth verse, and the light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his holy, holy word. In the beginning, in the beginning, Jesus Christ. You see that there are three, there is three in one, the triune. And it's God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. And all three are one. And a lot of people will tell you, no, it's, it's this one, it's that one, it's this one, it's that one. No, 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 no. Read your word. Read your word. It'll tell you. And if you're living for God, you know, you're not reading your word just so you can sit up there and try to serve authority over somebody else or that's telling people like you think you know more than anybody else. It's not for that. It's for us to get an understanding that we can live safe, live holy, live righteous, <coughs> excuse me, before God and man in this present world, in the right now, in the here and now. This is the reason why he said that if we lack wisdom, ask for wisdom. Because he said he'll give you knowledge. He says in his word, he gives all men a measure of faith. And what you do with the measure of faith that he's given you, you know, that's that's on you. But then he says, you look, that you learn how to do, what to do. There are going to be things that we're going to go through. I got issues I got going on, not only in my body, but around me that I'm looking to God. Because I know can't nobody else help me but God. Can't nobody help me. And through the Lord blessing and he's moving and he's strengthening me, I thank the Lord. And this is the reason why I can let you know who Jesus is. He is the son of God. And that's your word for the day. John chapter one, verses one through five. Please read the whole chapter. You do yourself some good. Going back into the books. We have Marvel Tales number 20. Marvel Tales number 23. I want y'all to look at these covers. These are nice books. Now, I'm going to tell you, if I remember correctly, because I got these books, I think, back during the... Man, what, it might have been during the summer, maybe, of last year. Uh, and uh, having to pick these books up. These Marvel Tales, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, these Marvel Tales was only running $3 a piece. 
I couldn't believe it. I had to pick them up. I mean, I, I don't know. I think I had a, a couple of facsimiles that I wanted. But when I saw these, I put the facsimiles back and, and went for these. You know, it's always going to be an older book over a newer book when it comes to me. You know, it, it just is. It just is. All right. Coming close to the end here. We have 15 minutes, you all. Marvel Tales number 25. Marvel Tales number 27. Still sticking with the Spider-Man, the Thor, and the Torch. And these books are nice. These are real nice. I like this cover here with Craven. I like that one. It's a real nice book. And again, the, the, the spines on them are wonderful. This is issue number 28. Going up against the Moten Man. I didn't even realize he was out that far back. And issue number 29. We've seen this cover before where Green Goblin, he's got Spider-Man tied up and got him unmasked and then he's unmasking himself. You know, and I'll probably make somebody mad out there, but uh, I, I, I preferred the Rhino <laughs> more than I did Green Goblin. Green Goblin, Hog Goblin, Demi Goblin, all them little goblins. Uh, but I preferred the Rhino. I preferred uh, Craven, especially, uh, what was it? Uh, wasn't, was it Craven's Last Hunt? Uh, but anyway, it was when they did the, uh, that one was a good read too. But I mean, other than the Green Goblin, to me, the Green Goblin is the equivalent of the Joker in the Marvel comics to me that's just that's just me again your mileage may vary and last but not least on the docket comic book fam we have bada bing bada boom speaking of the rhino this looked like it was taken right from the cartoon and uh I like this one and uh this is a bonus it's, it's Spidey versus uh Kazar and I think this is where we actually lose because they see it switched over to Marvel Tales starring Spider-Man. And I think he has no other big uh, big stars in there with him. And I think they kind of took that up by adding an extra story and some pinups and different things like that. So other than that, but these books are really, really nice. Anytime I pick up something that I haven't seen before and at a $3 price tag, where can you go wrong? Where can you beat it? square bound all of them for the most part looked real nice on the square bound and uh you just can't beat it i said it must have been it must have been a good time to be a kid back in the day you know when you can go get a great big thick book like this for 25 cents you know i mean that had that had to been magnificent you know picking up uh giant size 100 page giants and stuff like that for for 25 cents and even at 50 cents, even at a dollar at that particular time, it wasn't bad, you know, but if you was getting more meat for your buck, you know, so, but anyway, I'm not going to get on that soapbox. We're going to leave that alone. Again, I appreciate you tuning in to KJ's PPC Hot Shots ish issue, episode 119. Again, I'm going to be putting these out around the six o'clock hour and that's the PM putting them out at the six o'clock hour, give you something in the afternoon to look at. Lord bless. And uh, I guess maybe later on, we'll go back to the regular format. You know, I usually try to put my videos out around uh, 12, uh, well, I call it 12 in the morning, and then uh, sometimes six in the morning, but most of the time, usually it's been around 12 uh, midnight. So anyway, we just thank the Lord for you tuning in. Know that I love your comic book fam, praying for you. Remember, be praying for your family. If you know a word of prayer, if you're not going to church, go to church. Find you a Bible preaching, teaching, living church and go to church. You're supposed to assemble yourself together. You know, my pastor preached a message. I think I told you this on uh, one of the episodes and his, his message was, I think it went, oh my, 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 I said I keep it wrote down. What was it? Uh, oh my goodness. Let me find it. If I can't find it right now, I will put it in the next episode. 
because I want you to understand because it's right where, you know, it seems like we're at now as a country, you know, and uh, it was just, it was a timely word for that particular time. And I yet thank the Lord. Again, thank the Lord for you. We're at the 20 minute mark. I appreciate you. I love you, comic book fam. And uh, hope to see you soon. And as I've been telling all my brethren that, that, that's been commenting, stay tuned. Stay tuned. I love you. Praying for you. God bless you today.